Yes, the summer unfortunately always goes by too fast, but I had a great time in Hawaii to kind of kick off these, uh, the year with some road biking. I spent a couple weeks in Sweden training with uh, the Swedish team and uh, got to have some of the U.S. girls and Canadian girls up to Alaska in my hometown. So it was a great season of preparation. The summer was really good. Uh, we had three major training camps with the team. So the first one was just like Kikin in Hawaii. So we did uh, a lot of training. Uh, some sea level, but we could train at altitude too, at the top of a volcano, it's 3,000 meters, so we did some super long training from starting at the beach and finishing at the top of the volcano, it's about four hour all climbing, so that was good for the last stage of the Tour de Ski, I think, and then uh, the second half of that camp was in Canmore in Alberta on the glacier, so again, a little bit of altitude and some, some time on snow, so then to that I went home, we had another camp in New Zealand, uh, which is full-on winter there when we go uh, so we had about three weeks there did some races with the Russian sprint team and the American team for the men's and then the last camp was in uh, Park City in Utah well I've come to realize that uh, since I didn't take the traditional American route and go to college uh, I've chosen to race internationally the people that I will be visiting 10 years from now aren't going to be my college buddies they're going to be my World Cup friends so I've taken the opportunity of spending all this time around these wonderful people that gotten to know um, some of the other World Cup skiers from other countries and uh, I come over to Europe each year for the FIST meetings as my uh, duties as an athlete rep and so I asked the Swedish girls if they'd mind if I came and tagged along and uh, we had a great camp. I think we both learned from each other and man it's been so nice to show up here to the World Cup this fall and just have a whole new group of friends. Uh, well the goal, it's, it's hard this year because there's no major championship, there's no Olympic Games, there's no World Championship but uh, I think for most of us, the overall World Cup, try to do well there is, is a goal, and to do well in the overall World Cup, you have to be strong in the Tour de Ski. So for me, when I will try to be at my best, will be at the Tour de Ski. I went from not, not being in the top 10 to finishing on the podium last year, and it was a step forward. And yeah, I look forward to, to challenging for the Sprint Globe. I know that uh, with the retirement of those two ladies, it really opens the door to a whole new group of sprinters. Uh, it'll be a bit more un unpredictable this year, but I like the challenge. Oh, well, we have a bus due again this year. Uh, I think the same bus, same bus driver. It's a Rockstar bus, so it's kind of good. The, the driver is, has driven some Rockstar, so that was we had some good stories there. We created Fast and Female to go out there and inspire girls to stay involved in sports, to make friends, to be competitive, to be confident. And uh, the organization has really taken off and been growing. You know, we take the top athletes as role models and put them in there with, with the girls to share their stories. and. And now we've gone from you know one event in Canada a year to I think we're up to 15 events across North America this year. But well, we've had a lot of races in Canmore, the Olympic Games in '88, and then the World Cup every couple of years uh, since since then. But uh, now it's for the first time it will be out east where I live in Quebec City, and it's it's really nice. The architecture of the city is amazing. It's the oldest city in North America. It's over 400 years old, and so for us in, in America it's it's pretty old, and it's just. The, the views, I think the shots, camera shots and everything will be amazing. You have the river, which is usually all frozen in the winter. You have the Chateau Frontenac, who's a pretty nice building, and the Plains of Abraham. So the course will be, I think, half on the Plains of Abraham and half on Main Street. It's called Grand Allée. So it's going to be kind of like what we see in, in Stockholm and Drammen or uh, Moscow this winter, but uh, half urban and half on natural trails. So I, I think it's going to be quite unique and the people uh, in Quebec and in Quebec City especially are, are pretty supportive for amateur sports. So I'm sure there will be a lot of people coming out and supporting the, the skiers. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that event.